Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to create a point group based on the points that have been scattered on a mesh surface. So you can see here our scattered points that are sitting somewhere on the mesh and we are going to identify the nearest point on that mesh. So let's do that in a new scene and start again with a pick head inside the geometry node, we will scatter a bunch of points on its surface. Let's just start with 100 points. And one more time, what we're trying to do is to find from this scattered points the nearest point on the mesh and group this. So we have a uni unique point for uh, these scattered points. We will do that by creating an attribute wrangle, which is referring back to the input mesh on the second input. We can call this already nearest point. And inside the wrangle, we are going to create an attribute called i at pt near. And we're using the near point function to the second input based on our point position. So under points, you should now see a PT near attribute which has numbers referring to the point numbers on the mesh. Now in order to get an array, we are going to use the attribute promote node, feed in the near points to promote them to detail and there's an array of all we can create. I will call it PTS and we don't necessarily need to delete the original near point attribute, but let's check under detail all the points inside one array. Now in order to access this, we will append a, another attribute wrangle, this time after the pick head, connect the second input to the attribute promote, and this will be the group. I call the group um, nearest and we can just set it to one and under bindings you can use the or should enter the same name nearest and you should see all points turning orange. So now let's define this a bit differently. We are needing the PTS array with the detail function, we can access the second input and just grab it. So PTS was the name of the array. And now we are simply trying to find the a match inside PTS based on our point number. So I call this variable found and if found, you can see it here, the find function is returning an index. So we can say if found is equal or bigger than zero, we should have the nearest points. So let's play with the scatter node or increase the total count and you should see our mesh has a suitable group, point group here. So all these points are found. Thank you for watching.